Right guys, so Grand Arts got in touch with me a couple of weeks ago uh, after seeing my video of their Grand Boards reviews and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing the Grand Eye. So obviously I said yes, I wouldn't mind trying this out because I do like auto scoring system that saves me use my brain. So they were kind enough to send me the Grand Eye out. So it's the Grand Eye and it's an exclusive early release edition. It's not released yet. As far as I'm aware, it's 299 euros, which is about 250-ish pounds. Not sure when the release date is, but obviously this video will go up when I know it is released and that is the release date. So what we'll do is we'll have a closer look at the packaging, what you get inside. Obviously you can see I've got rid of the skull there because I need to take this off and put more holes in my wall now, <laughs> which is great. Um, but... If you're going to make an auto scoring system, do what the school edition one did, hook up in your, sur your, your surround, it makes it easier and the, the other halves won't complain about putting holes in the wall. But anyway, we are going to first close look at the packaging, get this set up and have a few throws. I'll show you the software as well that you need to use this and uh, let's see how we get on. Right, again, it says the Grand Eye exclusive early released edition. I don't know if this is going to be the final release or how it's going to look. But again, it's early edition. It's basically a beta test to see how this goes and see what if they need to make any improvements. So we slide the sleeve off. Let's go. I am grateful to have found my way to you. Be the first to experience Grand Eye. Very nice. Very heartwarming Dutch little message. Let's open this up, tight, let me just move things out of the way, um, so you have the Grand Eye, that'll be the little box in there, so got USB ports, um, little power pack there, so you get that, you get the little padded Foam things you'll get to know what all of this is just shortly. Um, it is just, if I'm right, two cameras which are in this bit, and you just tear that off. You see the little camera lens there, so that's there, it protects your camera lens, your ca camera eye, even. Um, so that's them there. Now I haven't looked through this yet, so bear with me. Um, we'll get the details of what everything is just shortly. Little stickers. Um, more stickers and felt. We'll figure all of this out. Screws, and that'll be the screws for the bracket. This little device, which I will explain just shortly. Power cables, just that's all your cables there. There is more things at the back of this. Let me just move that out of the way. Oh. You have four brackets. Why four? Unless there's two for spares. But we'll find that out. And this here as well. That's that. That's all there is in it. You're like, oh, where's the manual? The manual comes separate. It obviously doesn't fit in the box, so they have sent me that as well. So just be careful here. I'll open this up so you can see. So you've got the camera unit, base unit, echo unit, and three um, pads, cable organizer, brackets, USB cables, install guides, and screws. What you require is a measuring tape, pen, a Phillips screwdriver, power adapter for U, L, power adapter for type C. Instruction manual there, how to use this. Uh, and it will just tell you how to put it all together. You open this up on the other side. And again, I'm going to lift that right up so you can see. So it's a guidance um, how to set this up, where the echo pads should go. And you've got your brackets on either side where this should go. So you like, put this up in the wall 
It should be two meters from the floor, if you can see that, two meters from the floor and that's your line. Um, so yeah, this could be very interesting for me to place up. Because we all know how good I am at DIY and how I like to bugger things up at the first go. So I think what we should do is just get on with it and uh, wish me luck. Right, so I was having a look at the manual and I just started getting the surround off. Um, and I was going to see with the brackets and that went. But I was having a look at the manual and there's a QR code. If you follow that, that tells you to use this. And this is what this is for. So what you do is you put that to the 13, attach your bracket to it, and then you just mark it where it is and same with the 14, attach your bracket to it and mark it on the, the wall. So that's what this is for instead of using the paper as your guide for the brackets. So just a little update on that one. Right, so unfortunately, they gave me little screws. It's not for uh, putting it in the wood, because I'm going into concrete, so I have to put a couple of raw plugs in, then uh, put the screws in the brackets. Right, so it's all set up. Now attaching the base unit, which I've done, and I've put a USC power cable into it already, so it's lighting up and it's lighting up there and there. Right, so I've had to do a take two on this because uh, when I was initially setting up, the camera lens would not sync with the app. Uh, Try different things, spoke to Grand Arts, they were great in supporting me as well with this. Uh, it turned out it was a firmware, software issue with the cameras, so they had to send me a replacement camera lenses, so I had to get these two replaced uh, with update, the updated firmware on it because for whatever reason, the other ones just wouldn't do it. So, it's been a moment. <laughs> um, so we have it done. I've managed to get them set up, I've managed to get it synced up. I'll show you how I've done it as well. So again, you just go into your device settings, go to Grand Eye, go to the Wi-Fi. Um, it says it has to be 2.4 gigahertz. So keep that in mind. So you may have to do what I did. I got a little Wi-Fi repeater booster thing that's at 2.4 gigahertz because I didn't want to mess around with my routers in home because there's other things you use that network and it's just, you know, some of it, it will just not work properly. So I got a little booster repeater thing uh, in the garage to try and help it, not the greatest signal. So what you do is you put in the name of the router. So it's not the IP address, it is the name of the router. So if you have a Skybox, it's Sky, whatever the other numbers and letters are after it plus a password for your um, router as well. Hit the OK button, scan in the QR codes. Um, so once you scan on, the, it tells you the left one, then once you hit next, it should be a solid green light. Then do the right one, and again, just repeat that. It will search for the cameras and it'll sync up to it. After that, it's a case of doing a calibration. Um, I'll, you'll watch this video on. Uh, it's calibrating to make sure that you get the, the yellow dots accurate to what the image that they say that it should be. If it doesn't match it, um, click wrong and you can adjust it later on throughout. 
The other issue is, I was using my Bulls 7.01 board and it just didn't like it. So if you've got a one more board, there is a list that comes up with and it tells you if you've got one of these boards. If you don't have one of them, uh, you might have issues because I did with Bulls 7.01 board. So that's why I've got the one more Blade 6 up and it worked perfectly fine. Uh, I'll ask you if it's correct, if it is, then that's fine. Then I'll go through the alignment and that's you completed it. Then it will just do an AI check and it will just sort out, make sure everything's perfect. So after that, once you've done all of that, you can go back to the main menu, go to the home screen, you go online, you got local, you got friends, play data in the grand eye. You have the online section, which has not been updated yet. Again, this is still all work in progress. Uh, so the only one that you do really have is global lobby. Uh, you can go into that. You've also got real-time match coming up, friends direct match coming up, community coming up, and remote standby coming up. That's all in the online lobby. The local, you go to the X01, which is a 501 to 1001, 11001, whatever it is. Uh, cricket, you've got standard cricket, cutthroat cricket, hidden cricket, cricket, hidden cutthroat cricket. Party, which is kicked down. You also have wildcard coming up, team CR coming up, and freeze coming up, but you also have match, which is X01, which is 01, and cricket, or you can mix it, like you would do with a soft hit board. You also have practice, and there's a uh, count up, treble 20 training, you've got half it, you've got rotation, and you've got target 20. So there's a few practice games in this as well. If you go to the X01, you can go against dart bots. There's nine levels to these dart bots. So go to your game settings, set it up to whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, it could be three legs, five legs, how many sets you want to do as well. You can pick a level of that bot to play with. Um, I'll just give you a quick rundown of that while showing you. So what I'll do is have a few throws at the board. I'll let you see the game, uh, what, how it works. So let's do that. Right, so I've got, you can see, I'm just going to do 7-1 against the bot. Level 7, they are as well. I don't know what level 7 is going to be like. Uh, so this is just a case of throwing and see how we get on. Here's my darts. I'm just going to randomly throw. It is a bit slow when it's marking it. I think it's because it's just two cameras, 17. Take that out and it should automatically change to the guy or the AI that I'm playing. If not, you can hit this button here to hit change. Is he going to do it? No, he's not doing that. Right, that changed. So you can get to see wee guy. And he gets to throw as well. With his berry hat on. Berry good. <laughs> Never mind. I think it will take a little while to settle in. 16 and 3. Yep, that's fine. Let's register that. Again, it's just like a grand board just tap it to change if you want it to go a little bit quicker. But I'll, I'll let you see me doing a uh, one leg, a level one, uh, and we'll do a little summary. Right, so the Grand Board Grand Eye Automatic Scoring System. Not a bad idea, it's another automated scoring system. This one is obviously cheaper than the other ones that is out there, because um, you obviously got the Scolia and the Target Omni. So you've got the Grand Eye, which is the newest from Grand Board, which usually tend to deal with soft tip area, but they've now come to the steel tip and doing an automated scoring system. 
two cameras. I, I would have preferred three to four, to be honest, if you could double it up just to cover more of that that board. But it, there is some, you know, correction I had to do with it with the scoring, but it's minor corrections. So maybe one in every four or five. Um, the now just because it's new, it will probably just take its time. Um, the other downside for me would be. You know, I tried it with the Bulls that board, didn't like it. it. I mean, every time I was throwing the Bull, was, you know, it was double five was the score for it. Uh, so I had to put the Blade 6 up because it was one of the boards that was on the list uh, to be able to use this. Again, you can use LED lights with it. I'm sure on Dark Corner we can purchase this. Um, you can get LED lights to, to attach to this, so if you want to make it fancier, uh, you can put LED lights around your dartboard or around your wall. So every time you throw, you, it'll go green to blue and flash, the uh, red and blue, whatever it is. I'll, I'll put, there is videos on YouTube that you, if you want to see it, that somebody's actually got an LED light around, so every time they're throwing, the, the lights go on it, which is pretty cool. So the price of this is $259.95. Again, it's only Darts Corner website. I can see that you can purchase this off from. Um, there is additionals. You can get the with mag mount and with mag mount and sync LED as well. But the, the mag mount and sync LED is out of stock at the moment. But uh, if you go on the Darts Corner website, I'll leave a link in the description box where you can go to this and just have a look at it. Do your little investigation for yourself into this. Uh, for me, you really do need a Wi-Fi, a good strong Wi-Fi in the area that you've got this in. Um, because I'm in the garage and it's concrete and I've got the, even though I've got the booster, the signal on the cameras do tend to break every so often and so it doesn't register the darts and it will just put miss um, because the, the signal strength is just not there. So I would recommend a good Wi-Fi strength uh, for using this. Initially it is easy to set up. Um, if you do have issues with the cameras not um, pairing, it actually may be, because I'm going to speak to Granite as well, the lens because you, you can rotate them to focus them in. So it might just be out of focus so it won't register it. So do turn the lens if it's not registering first. Just turn it slightly to try and focus it and it might sync up um, to your app. This may kick off and it might be absolutely fantastic and you know, it might just get as popular as the grand board. Who knows? But anyway, it's a no bad little camera setup. It doesn't get in the way of putting your surround light up and your, your surround as well. But again, you have to watch out what that board that you use because it won't register some of the certain bat boards. But anyway, I'd like to thank Grand Arts for sending this out to me to review. Um, it took a little while to do and I kind of lost where I was with all of this. But we got there in the end and that's all that matters. But thank you to Grand Arts for sending this out to me to review. I know uh, Dark Planet TV and Jack the Dark Ref has done the videos for these as well and it doesn't seem like they had any issues, thankfully. Just me, I always get it. It's like trial and error, you know, I, I get to test all the equipment, the worst ones, but anyway, I get the broken ones to see if I can fix it. But anyway, do check out their videos as well, uh, just to get their perspective of uh, the Grand Eye. Uh, so again, that's Dark Planet TV with Gav and Jack, uh, the Dark Referee, and I think it's on the Dark Corner website as well. You can see Jack installing it and using it as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you interested? What you think of this setup? Two cameras? Will you use it? Will it be interesting? Let me know your thoughts. But anyway, that's it from you guys. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Turn notifications on for more reviews and live streams. And I'll catch you in the next one. Happy darting, guys. Bye.